Hello and thank you for watching my video. This is episode 5, looking at what you should do in preparation for the Heart of Thorns expansion. Uh, and this is going to be a short video that we're going to look at uh, how we can prepare, particularly if you're a PvP player. So, let's talk about PvP. Uh, as you can see here, we actually get, uh, for doing PvP, you get reward tracks. And this is why PvP is actually profitable to do, uh, and you can actually earn gold from this. We get a number of different uh, type, different reward tracks, uh, and in particular, as you can see here, a lot of them are to do with different areas, interior, uh, and also the dungeons. But we also have uh, some, as we can see here, the Balthazar back item, that are unique that you can only do once. Uh, things like the Silver Wastes, um, that's a unique reward track that you can only do once. Uh, but also things like, uh, you notice above that we had the Maguma Wastes that uh, allow that you get uh, sort of, you know, this is where you can actually achieve the um, different uh, different reward tracks, particularly uh, geodes were very valuable. So you can actually gain a lot from some of these reward tracks and some of them are react you know, you, could, uh, you can reactivate, whereas some you are uh, just one time only. So when the Heart of Thorns expansion comes out, they're surely going to introduce a load of new reward tracks. So it's going to be very important to actually do some of these reward tracks. How to get ahead? Well, as you can see here, this is one of the reasons why we do these reward tracks, to get some of the rewards like the armor and the uh, weapons. So imagine all the new different uh, rewards that we are likely to get with some of the new reward tracks expected with the Heart of Thorns expansion. You know, if you look here, you can pick any different axe that you want. We should be able to get a whole new load of skins, new different weapons, maybe even some new stats from the Heart of Thorns expansion. So, how can we get ahead uh, how, and what can we do? Well, with regards to some of the daily uh, dailies that you get, um, you know, do, uh, win by a thief or you know sort of uh, elementalist winner, guardian winner, daily pvp rank points you actually get a fallen hero chest and this hero chest contains uh, a very unique reward it's a potion that allows you to increase your rank points uh, and this as we see uh, up here we have, I have 45 potions of pvp rewards now each one of those gets me 500 reward points so if we look here, it's 5,000 per uh, little, like sort of um, per, per little uh, section. So it's 40,000 in total, which means you only need 80 different potions to or 80 potions to actually complete an entire track and get all the rewards associated with it. And that is a fantastic way that you can start. You might even get a huge amount of like end loot by you know the, the twilight eye by the armor boxes you can see but imagine if you have 80 potions of pvp reward boom within uh, a day you've got that fantastic reward saves you a hell of a lot have a lot a hell of a lot of time doing that so by doing the uh, getting these potions saving them up you are going to really help yourself out in when heart of thorns expansion launches who knows how many of these reward tracks we're going to actually get you know, who knows how many we'll have to unlock, because if you notice things like the Chrysal reward track, to do, to unlock that, you had to do the one before that, uh, and that unlocked, you know, the, you know, sort of the ore, you know, uh, reward track, and I think that, you know, the reward tracks that are going to come in are going to be very, very significant indeed. Uh, they haven't ex explicitly said that they are not going to bring them in, but you'd think that they, they obviously they'll bring new reward tracks in because they're going to have new maps. So my advice is save those potions of PvP reward because when Heart of Thorns expansion comes out, those new reward tracks are going to be very, very valuable indeed. So I'm hoping that you've appreciated the advice I'm giving you guys out here. Uh, and leave any comments, any suggestions that you might have, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode.